Alright, so this is the standard installation of MPP Solar 2400 Watt uh, model. Uh, it's the model PIP2424 MSE. Quite standard that we use. Uh, I think it's almost two years we use this. Uh, packed with lead acid battery. But we have issue with the charging. That's why we need to install another uh, MPPT controller because the MPPT component inside I don't think it's working anymore but now we want to upgrade this MPP solar inverter with uh, grow watt 5 kilowatt uh, and we want to use the lithium ion phosphate battery it, the issue with the lead acid battery I think at most is around one to one and a half years then you can see the significant reduction of uh, holding power they say previously they can use until early morning or until morning but then it become gradually decrease until midnight and then until 11 until 10 pm and whatnot so the light acid battery might be good for uh, simple and direct installation but in terms of uh, size weight and lifetime uh, it is not good compared to lithium ion phosphate so we will change this with the uh, 5 kilowatt high frequency inverter later we show you the battery that we use okay so the original setting for the previous uh, inverter was uh, two series panel and two parallel now we need to change because when we use the high voltage uh, inverter from growwatt uh, we need at least 150 volt so we will make it all uh, in series so that we can get 200 volt Okay, so we have uh, upgraded the system. Uh, this is the lithium ion phosphate pylon type. The bottom one is the 100 AH. The top one is 50 AH. Uh, firstly, we thought that with the 100 AH, we can actually kickstart the inverter. But this inverter is 5000 watt. I believe the discharge rate is only 100 M. So it's not sufficient to jump start or to kickstart the inverter. So we, we add another 50 AH battery here. So total we have 150 AH. Uh, now it's charging. Uh, this is the inverter. Now it's raining. We have like 230 watts only charging. Whereas we should have around 1.2 kilowatt uh, of solar panel on the roof. So good thing about uh, this grower SPF 5000 ES model. The model, uh, the display, the data is very easy to read. Let's say you are on the page of voltage, it will show the solar panel voltage, the battery voltage, the output voltage. When you go to the next one, it will show the total kilowatt hour generated. Next one is the M. Now from solar panel is 1.5 M, charging to the battery and also being used directly to the house. Uh, in fact, the battery is actually topping up uh, to the house load. Uh, and then this is the watt, 200 watt of solar panel, 200 watt of uh, load. The battery is around 53.6, 53.7. So the, if the battery is full, it's going to be around 56 volt. But that is the uh, charging voltage. So if you switch off the solar panel, uh, it will be around 54 plus voltage. It means that the battery is full. So one thing about installation in rural uh, uh, set up like this a uh, farm or orchard or village uh, first we have uh, pest issue uh, lizard um, rats and also uh, in terms of the uh, maintenance we need to ensure the, the all the systems are clean uh, this DB is their favorite place for lizard they will hang out here I don't know, maybe because of the heat source and they also will like to go into the inverter here. Okay, but luckily the latest model from Growart, uh, all with smaller hole and it has uh, outer cage to cover the fan. Okay, and if you have access to Wi-Fi or GPRS, you can use the dongle. Uh, here we already provided the, the owner with the Wi-Fi. Uh, dongle uh, but they have yet to set up the wi-fi okay so there is the basic setup this house or this farm is actually started with very small uh, system the 2400 watt 
inverter with only two panels and two batteries. Then it expanded to four panels and then extended to four batteries, uh, deep cycle acid. Now, after two, two and a half years, three years, uh, the owner want to upgrade uh, to bigger inverter, five kilowatt and uh, pylon lithium ion phosphate type battery. Why we like this? Because it's very stable. Instead of using the lithium ion phosphate, the cell type, we need to install the BMS ourselves, which is very tedious. Very small and fine wires we need to maintain. So like this, it's easier. We just put it here and then we just connect uh, each other. Then you can actually stack like, you know, so many spaces that you can use. Okay, so that's all. Growout SPF 5000 ES. So far, on our personal opinion, is the best inverter from Growout. We have used their low frequency model, we have used their grid connected, but we still uh, believe SPF 5000 ES is the most um, well thought well thought uh, production made of inverter okay but if you go for lower frequency we might have different uh, opinion uh, again the other choice we previously if it's smaller size we use mpp solar 2400 watt uh, pip 2424 msc okay all right that's all uh, if you want to try this is the setup just connect the solar panel as input output and connect the battery don't forget your grounding you must have very good grounding or else you will have um, a certain voltage uh, current here, uh, what we call it uh, surplus. So you must have very good uh, grounding, especially in farm or orchard area uh, near hill or on top of the hill or exposed to the, to the lightning. Okay, all right, thank you. Okay, this is the location of solar panel. Two of them on this side, another one on the other side. Uh, the reason being we put it on top, uh, previously the structure is very minimal so we have to use this uh, concrete slab to make sure uh, the structure is strong enough to hold not only the panel, to hold the installer as well. So the good and bad thing about this uh, arrangement, the sun will rise from this side and set here so it will have uh, morning and afternoon sunlight as well. Uh, but the best arrangement is actually like that as you can see here at the house uh, it's facing south where you can get uh, sunlight from uh, not south uh, north you can get from the morning until late afternoon uh, the best is actually south but then the tree line at the back is very near so we choose the north side